Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. God knows you, and that's more important than you knowing Him. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Hey, if you love our videos, if you are learning about your Christian faith from places that you never expected to learn about your faith from, a uh, Lutheran pastor and his New York Mets fan dog named Thor, go ahead and like and subscribe today. It's okay, buddy. Don't look so blue. I know they've lost four straight, but they're coming around. We'll get those cubbies tonight. He's blue. I mean, look at how sad he is. You can also go to support.higherthings.org and give today. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation, keeps us going. So we are in Bible Study Thursday, and it's verse Galatians 4, verses 8 and 9 today. But you, at that time or then, uh, you didn't know God. Uh, you served um, those who were by nature not gods. But now that you know God, or rather, instead, are known by God, um, you don't, why would you turn back again to the weak and worthless elementary principles uh, of the world whose slaves you want to be once more. Now, we're going to catch the latter part of 9 with 10 and 11 next week. But for enough, it's here. It's uh, the Paul, Paul is speaking to the Galatians, to Gentiles who didn't know God. And when they didn't know God, they served things that were by nature not gods. Um, the, 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 the idols of their flesh, the... Um, uh, the gods of this world, the gods that they, the idols that they thought were gods that weren't, they were by nature not gods. But see, now they no longer serve those gods. They know God, but he corrects himself. Paul corrects himself. You know God, but rather you are known by God. And that's the thing that I want you to take note of today because we get all excited that we know God, that we know him, that we know the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and that we see God and we found God in, in Jesus. It's sort of like uh, uh, John 1 where, where Andrew and Philip are like, hey, we found the Messiah. Uh, did you find the Messiah or did the Messiah find you? Um, and what, 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 is so important here is we think the all the all important thing is that we have a relationship with God that we know God that we know Jesus that we've given our life to him that we believe in him that we that we are on God's team and uh, that's a big deal but a bigger deal <laughs> a bigger deal than that is that God knows you and that he knows you in the giving up of his son and that he gave his son to live his life for you and to die the death that you deserve. And that nothing is going to separate you from the God who sent his son to save you. You see, we think religion is all about us and our knowing God and our being saved and our, you know, our getting our lives right and our making things better and our being better people and all of those things. That's still the elementary principles of this world, the gods that we used to serve. The big deal here is that the only God that there is knows you. And I'm not a big fan of relationship language, but I'll use it here. Um, the, the only God there is, is your father. And he loves you in the giving up of his son. The only, as the relationship language falls short because it doesn't, get to the true relationship with your father's son. Um, Jesus is your brother. It's not just that Jesus is your pal or your friend or, or that you're like, and sometimes relationship language sounds sort of romantical. 
It's that you is that you have the God who made the universe is your dad. And if ever you look at the heavens and you're like, why doesn't things go my way? Why are you God? He knows you. And he knows the real you. He knows the person you want to be. And despite that person, he sent his son to die for you. And now that you're in the faith, he knows the person that you really want to be. And he knows how much you fail at being that person. He knows that the good that you want to do, you don't do. And the things that you very hate that you is the things that you do. And he knows you. And he knows what's best for you. A lot of times in this world, we feel like we're not known, that nobody understands us and that nobody gets us. He gets us. He understands. And he loves us, not in the sense of like a grandpa that's like, I can't get enough of you. I know you're a bad person, but I still dig you. No, he loves you in the giving up of his son. His son died for you. And now God says, I know you. I love you. You are known. I understand you. And I do what's best for you. And what's best for you is that I would send my son to die for you. That you would give up those things that you think are true religion. And that you would cling to the suffering and death of Jesus. And that that suffering and death would drag you out of your sins. And out of your death. And out of your despair. And out of your nobody knows me and nobody cares to a universe where I do everything that I do to save you. I say everything I say so that you would believe that I've sent my son to die for you and so that you would live in that comfort and live and breathe that knowledge. Yes, you know God and you used to not know God. But now what's most important is the comfort that he knows you. He won you in the giving up of his son. He bought you back and he understands you. And he died for you anyway. God died for you anyway in the person of your son, of his son. And now you have life and now you have salvation and now you have peace. And now you are not enslaved to the things that you used to be enslaved to. Now you have life, life that doesn't end. Yes, it's a big deal that you know God, but it's a bigger deal that he knows you in the giving up of his son. Think about it. And if you get lost in this business of, well, God knows everything, of course he knows me. I'm talking about he knows past your sins. He knows more than just the naughty things that you've done and haven't done. He knows and he understands your likes and your dislikes, your failures and your faults and what you really want. And even though what you really want oftentimes is more slavery to your sins, he sent his son to save you from what you really want, to show you a universe that is infinitely possible and infinitely loved because you are infinitely loved in Christ. Think about it. Bible study Thursday, Galatians 4, is it 7 and 8? Nope, eight and nine. Next week for Bible study Thursday. Days of the year and how, yeah, we'll get to that. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.